Today we have a short video on doing the figure eight cast on, which is often used for starting toe up socks. I recommend using two circular needles. It just gives you a bit more play and wiggle room and I find it less frustrating. Those who are new to knitting on two circulars, you might prefer needles like I have got here that are of two different lengths. I've got one 16 inch needle and one 20 inch needle. Uh, it makes it easier to just keep track of which needle end belongs to which cable. So you take your two needles and it doesn't matter whether you use the shorter one or the longer one, but you align the tips like this and you hold them in your left hand. Then you take the end of the yarn and you pass it between the two needles with the tail coming out towards you and the working yarn coming out behind the two needles. Now you kind of want to clamp that down just a little bit and we'll start wrapping the needles in a figure eight fashion. And you always start by going up and over the upper needle. Maybe that will help you remember. Up and over the upper and down and under the bottom needle. Up and over, down and over. And we've cast on two stitches there on each needle for a total of four. And this is your neutral position. You always come into the neutral position after wrapping a needle, whether it be the top needle or the bottom needle. And because we've got equal number of loops on each needle, we know that we have to start with the upper needle again. So up and over the top needle, down and under the bottom needle. Now for many toes, they call for six stitches, which would be three stitches on each needle. I like to cast on a few extra stitches just to um, to reduce any wonkiness on the edges. We'll drop those extra stitches as we progress. Now you want to take the bottom needle and pull it through those loops you just made around it and let both ends of that needle hang down with the stitches relaxed and on the cable. You see that? The stitches are on the cable and both ends of the needle are hanging down. Now you'll want to take the other end of the top needle here and we'll knit the first three loops that are on that top needle. So we've got one, two, three. Now you see we have a couple extra loops on there. Just go ahead and let them fall right off. And let this tail just hang there like this and we'll deal with it later. Now these new stitches that you just knit slide onto the cable, turn the work clockwise or towards your right, and slide the original loops that were on the bottom needle up onto the tip of the bottom needle. And keep the working yarn to the back. Now pick up the other end of the bottom needle and you'll knit through the back loop of these and be sure that you don't grab the tail to knit with. You need to be sure to grab the working yarn and knit through the back loop of these three stitches. So one, two, three. And it doesn't matter if you're a thrower like I am or if you're a continental knitter. It works either way. Now to finish up we're going to knit across that first needle one more time just so that you have enough fabric to perform any necessary increases um, for the toe. If you start right now it gets a little tight and a little wonky so it's good to knit one and a half. You also see that there's this loop right here that's kind of sloppy. That's from this tail. Just go ahead and give that a slight tug. Don't over tug. You want it to match the gauge of the other stuff. Um, and you may need to do that a couple times as you knit. 
So now just once again knit the three stitches on this needle. There you go. The figure eight cast on is complete. You'll know it's complete when the tail is to your right hand side. This is the same as if you did a long tail cast on. The tail when you're at the when you're ready to start knitting the first needle is always to your right. So now this is what your little piece of fabric looks like from the inside. But if you fold it like this, it's hard to see, but there's a tiny little bit of toe there, see? So now you're ready to go ahead and start your increases. And you can do a wedge toe or you can do a whirlpool toe. It all depends on the placement of your increases as to um, which kind of toe you're going to get. So there you go, the figure eight cast on.